I'm about to show you seven words missing from 98% of modern Bibles that can change your spiritual life. Hi, I'm David Daniels from Chick Publications. Back in my occultic years in the late 70s, people called me spiritual. In the occult, there are is our spiritualists and their spiritualism and spiritists and how come Christians aren't called spiritual anymore? Satan is marketing all sorts of occultic and and filthy ungodly stuff and Christians are buying it. Don't they realize what that does to their spirit? At a previous church, the Christians there they watched Family Guy and all sorts of perverted family shows. And in the youth, they, a number of them, slept together, took drugs, even cursed. And that was including some of the leadership's kids. They said, oh, well, if I take my Bible and I go to church, Satan trembles. No, he doesn't. He stood Face to face with Jesus, tempting him, quoting scripture. He's not scared of us. Look carefully at what 1 Corinthians 6, verses 19 to 20 says. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you? which ye have of God, and ye are not your own. For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. 98% of modern Bibles omit those last seven words. Why would anybody omit something as important as that? Because if you believe that God bought your spirit, as well as your body, you'd be very careful what you took in. Thirty years ago, I memorized the verse without those last seven words, but in the last five years, I've become very convicted by 1 Corinthians 6.20 and those last seven words and what they say. It has actually changed what I take into my spirit and has changed a lot of decisions and habits I've had from that day to this. Verse 17 says, But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. That means where we go, we bring the spirit of Jesus into. I won't tell you who, but many years ago there was an evangelist who got very discouraged. One day he found himself standing in front of a porno shop. But before he could go in, as he reached his hand to the door, the Spirit of Jesus spoke to his spirit and said, Please don't take me in there. Proverbs 20, 27 says, The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord, searching all the inward parts of the belly. If God were to take your spirit as his candle and search your inward parts... What would he find? I know that this is a sensitive issue. But look around. A lot of the church looks just like the world. Wouldn't you rather settle this here than wait till we're before the judgment seat of Christ? Are you spiritual? Then take those last seven words of 1 Corinthians 6.20 seriously. Glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. God bless you and have a wonderful day.